cap the income of uh, cost of living allowances for veterans and senior citizens. Is that true? Do you know about that? Yes. There's all sorts of cutting veterans benefits and cutting disabled veterans benefits. And uh, they're getting ready to scale back on the pension funds of officers. Uh, so it's it's going to be a nightmare situation. Unlimited trillions to foreign banks and derivatives, uh, but they're going to cheat and falsify the contracts by law uh, and uh, are moving now and, and have all sorts of articles in the Army Times and stuff about about taking uh, and cutting back the pensions uh, of the armed services veterans. Yeah, it's just not fair to me. I, I was trying to get Social Security disability for 10 years. And um, what it is is they keep you in the system for 10 years, and after that you're no longer eligible, just so all the veterans that are out there coming back from the wars know if they're disabled. They'll try to keep you in the system for 10 years, and then after 10 years you're no longer eligible to even apply. Well, that's right. I've had veterans' rights groups on. Uh, the VA spends like half its money on PR and propaganda, and it's there to keep an eye on the obsolete weaponry that they see the humans as that they want to spike like an old cannon. And it, there's some good people in the system that still try to do a good job, but it's extremely predatory. I mean, look at how they announce veterans as the number one enemy of Homeland Security with a straight face in the news. And, and the new army that's going to be domestic as they scale back worldwide is pointed directly at anybody that is a real American. I mean, it's, it's, it's twilight zone level. Well, I'm doing what I can to keep myself occupied. I might be disabled, but I, uh, I'm a recording artist. Uh, SRV was a friend of mine. Uh, a lot of your friends uh, I've met before, and uh, I'm sure we've ran in the same circles as far as musicians go. But uh, that's what I do, man. I play music, and I'm real good at it, and the blues. I love the blues. Well, we played some of that earlier for you, brother. God bless you, and I appreciate your call. Yeah, I don't want to get into complex economic discussions here, but we can build with the technology we have and automation and factories. We can build any society and any culture that we want. It's basically unlimited what we can do. And Dr. Bob Bowman, who was a nuclear physicist, wrote about this and we had him on. The fact that with automation and the systems we have, we should be working two days a week and the rest of it doing art and literature and, and, and uplifting more needy people. And the globalists talk about this. They talk about how the Federal Reserve wants to keep the economy from, quote, overheating and growing faster than 3.5%. Well, our economy grew at 10% for most of our history until the Federal Reserve came in. So what they want is stagnation. They want feudalism. And they want that on record. And if anybody deserves to get their health care and to get their pensions, it's the service people. But notice the World War I marchers, the bonus marchers, uh, that um, Eisenhower, to his discredit, along with um, MacArthur, they were both young colonels, you know, killed a bunch of veterans in D.C. that have been camped out for months demanding that they get their World War I bonus. And these were people that had arms and legs blown off. And it wasn't even that big of a sum. And what they got was army tanks and bullets and horses. And MacArthur and Eisenhower, who weren't bad guys compared to our elites today, notice were elevated to running everything because they would kill U.S. veterans. So just a little little factoid that uh, most people most people are not aware of right there. Truth Raider, you're on the air worldwide. Thanks for calling. The Truth Raiders on the march. The Empire's on the run. Live with Alex Jones from Austin, Texas, in the dark. That's right. You got a really good voice over a telephone, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, uh, you know, I'm praying that something will come along in the future that I have my opportunity. But we'll see what happens if I ever get into radio or become an annex broadcaster for you, perhaps in the Northwest. Maybe you could use... Uh... Well, what I suggest is if you build it, they will come. I would start out with Access Television because that has pretty good audiences and nobody uses it. People, if it's interesting, will tune through and stop. Then I'd use those tapes to get a local radio show. Or I'd start your own radio show on YouTube every day, do an hour or so. And then uh, you'll end up getting a radio show. Uh, but but no. people are always waiting for it to happen. You, you have to go out and do it. Exactly. Okay, today I want to talk about two topics, the electronic disassociation that we have in society, and number two, the slow and insidious transition into a socialist society here in America. Well, go ahead. Okay. Uh, electronics, cell phones, iPads, iPods, wherever you look. You see people buried... Their face is buried in these electronic gadgets, and it's disassociated people. I go by uh, by uh, uh, conspiracies that I can prove, and I've seen this. No, no, it's, it's on it's record with the wavelengths and all of it. The language is shrinking. People aren't communicating. 
They're becoming total loners and they're living inside their devices instead of living in the real world. It's a very serious phenomenon that's being done by design. Yes, I see that. And the insidious transition into a social society. How they're doing this? Well, they're, I've seen this for over 10 years, and it's starting to come here to the Northwest, but we're having an Hispanicization of our country. Now, I have nothing against Hispanic people. Most of them are pretty good people, but they're bringing the wrong ones here to our country. Well, it is true that a lot of the criminals and dregs of Latin America are coming here, gaming the system, and then they keep extreme nationalistic, uh, anti-white, anti-black racism. And that's a minority, but it's a large minority. Uh, and then it supposedly has to be overlooked uh, and ignored and is cute. Uh, and and it's, it's meant to break the country up and create more balkanization for the North American Union. Because, again, they merge the three states into one, but then they're going to break things up into sub-regions within the larger unions. Yes, indeed. The, 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 the best Mexicans I've ever known are the ones that, that went through the process. I had a good friend that went through the process of immigrating here, and he went through a, a 10 to 12-year excruciating process of always having to fill out applications and, and, and uh, everything he had to go through. Yeah, he, he, yeah, but, yeah no, no, no. I mean, good, hardworking people, they make it impossible I don't even care if you're from Western Europe, wherever it's at, or Mexico. And then the criminals just come in and get legalized. I know it's amazing. I appreciate your call. I mean, look, folks, you can't go to Mexico and demand to have your baby for free or demand welfare. They'd laugh at you. And, and nobody else does this but Western Europe and the United States. And uh, it's, it's designed to break the countries up. And they can politically correct, go, oh, no, it's for peace and to diversify things. No, it's it's being done as a political tool, and everybody knows it. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Lance in Kansas. Lance, you're on the air. Hello, Alex. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right, brother. Well, thank you. Um, I'd like to, first of all, um, you know, you hate to hear thanks, but I'd like to thank you for pointing me in the right direction to wake me up. Not, ne not necessarily for waking me up, but thank you for presenting information to me that I did not know existed and giving me the ability to research it myself and use my own brain. God oh, fuck crime. Yes, yes, use my own brain to figure out what is right and what is wrong. And uh, I live in Lawrence, Kansas, and I just wanted to comment on uh, on Ted Nugent last night and how um, whatever her name was would deviate from his points and keep on her point at trying to get Ted Nugent to admit that he was, uh, you know, a white trash, potty mouth, um, you know, just a hater of all races. And she would point, he would point out that Obama is murdering people. Hillary doesn't care that four Americans got killed in Benghazi. But that's not important because Ted Nugent called them potty mouth names. Well, and listen, the issue is, is it's all about the establishment setting the the parameters of values and then lecturing us all day and obviously Nugent's just using this to get himself more fame and fortune which I think is fine and it's backfiring on them but the 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 so-called dinosaur mainstream media doesn't have any power anymore and as soon as people realize that and just laugh at them it goes away all they've got is race politics and they are the ones that uh, I mean did 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 people get mad at Bill Maher last week when he called Matt Drudge a uh, stupid cracker. You know, it, it's, it's, again, I mean, I've got MSNBC calling white people names, white people doing it. They're, they're only trying to stir up race. In fact, let me just mention this article since you raised it. This is out of the Daily Sheeple, but it was first reported by WHIO Television. This is up on Infowars.com. A Bible stopped the bullets when a white man was targeted by young black polar bear hunters. And it goes on to describe it as an expansion on the knockout game to go and knock out unsuspecting crackers. Uh, and the new game, uh, the police say the bus driver, this is a WHO, uh, WHIO news, police say the bus driver is lucky to be alive after three black teenagers stabbed and shot him. A Bible over the bus driver's heart stopped two bullets and allowed him to fight off a knife attack from his assailants. One additional bullet stuck him in the leg the teens also stabbed him in the arm. The attack came in the morning at 5.30 when the driver stopped his bus because of mechanical difficulties. As he was outside the bus assessing how to fix the problem, the three suspects came up to him and said they were going to shoot a polar bear today. And it just goes on right there that the Bible saved him. 
Uh, they were ages 15 to 18. My issue is if, a, if white groups were doing this, it would be on every channel, and they would be saying whites collectively are to blame. I'm not saying blacks are collectively to blame, but there are large subcultures of young black males that viciously hate white people uh, and viciously go out and attack them. I don't blame everybody because of that. But, but again, these type of news stories get shut down and covered up. So I appreciate your call. Good to hear from you, Lance. Frank, Richard. Kevin, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. It's radio, old style, no video feed today. We're turning lemons into lemonade from the InfoWars Command Center, deep on the heart of Texas, PrisonPlanet.tv. Stay with us. Every move you make, every breath you take, the loving offshore banks that run our government are watching you and they're totally cold-blooded and they want to make you poor so that you're so dumbed down and working so hard you don't know why you have no political rights and no future they use poverty on record as a tool of social control and we'll be like every other nation soon our wealth our language our iqs our health is pouring out like a man who's had his legs chopped off with huge meat cleavers. The New World Order creates poverty and pain. Globalism, world government, is a fraud. And I don't want to be a slave of these people. I want to be free and build a better world. We're going to continue with your calls into this segment and the next, and then I'm going to break down... Well, it's starting to be big news, and I'm glad it is big news. Uh, they're going to come out with these three parent children. I want to break down exactly what this really means, ladies and gentlemen. That is all coming up in the next hour. And more, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm going to cover it today, on the polio-like illness found in five California children. And I know I had this yesterday in the stack. Will you guys pull me the mainstream news articles about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and their vaccines paralyzing the kids. Well, I, I guess almost all the power's off. A major transformer blew up in this area of Austin. And so we're on backup generator uh, and can't even get on most of our computers. It doesn't matter. People can look it up for themselves. Uh, briefly, what's not down is Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And when you go there, you can see the online shopping cart. We have the new Molon Lobby. I think it's the best Molon Lobby. Come and take it. Spartan M4 shirt out there. Uh, Victory for the Second Amendment, my design. Uh, it's up there on InfoWarsStore.com. It is the best seller ever. Right after the Mass Murderers Agree Gun Control Work shirt that I designed 16 years ago. That's our first T-shirt that we still sell. And uh, by the way, uh, the Molon Labe shirts are all made in America. Made in 1776.com will lead you right to the Made in America apparel area at InfoWarsStore.com. But both places will take you there and... You heard the rave review for Super, Super Male Vitality. We're running into next week the 15% off as an introduction to it, uh, the Super Male Vitality that just really helps uh, reverse the uh, estrogen mimickers that are blocking normal testosterone and so much more. It's designed to make you feel like a natural male should. And believe me, it's not hype, folks. It's powerful, concentrated herbs that uh, I can't even take the full dose on. I've got friends that take more than the regular dose. Consult your doctor if you have any questions, InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to Richard in Mississippi. Richard, thanks for calling. Good morning, Alex. How are you? Good, brother. Go ahead. What's on your mind today? Uh, first off, let me just say we still have uh, some of the Second Amendment in force down here in Mississippi. We do have open carry of sidearms, and I encourage all fellow Mississippians to make sure they exercise that right wherever they go. Because an unexercised uh, right doesn't exist. Absolutely. I called today about the situation in the Ukraine. Um, I keep hearing the one word over and over, Nazis. Uh, I hear the deposed president uh, saying that they are facing the return of Nazism. Uh, uh, the new angelic uh, leader with her braided hair, uh, Tomashenko came from a party, a far right-wing party called the Fatherland Party. No, and it's being funded by George Soros. And again, they're not right-wing in the sense of private property guns. They're right-wing in the sense of they're anti-Russian and anti-Slav and think they're subhuman. 
Absolutely. And uh, last year in December, uh, when our 